Hello, and welcome back to Open, everyone. You know, we're always inviting you to get social with us. That's right, tweet us at Proxnet TV and tweet me too at Rina Valentin. The award winning independent company, Iron Glove Productions, is all about creating content that will leave an impact. And uh, with two short films set to premiere this summer in both the Dominican Film Festival and the HBO at New York Latino Film Festival, uh, both films have a political underlying message, uh, or messages, I should say, regarding our state of humanity. And uh, we're going to take a sneak peek at The Nice Guy. He's a nice guy. Bueno, he really is a nice guy. <laughs> so joining us to discuss more about both the film Nice Guy and Raka, please welcome founder of Iron Glove Productions, uh, filmmaker and actress Dominique Nieves, actor Amilcar Javier, and co-star Kevin Grullon. Hello and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning and congratulations. Thank, thank you. So, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Yes. Um, you, we didn't get to show them a uh, taste of Raka, but the um, just the storyline behind, and I, I already introduced it to everyone as uh, just serving our state of humanity and, and the fact that you know, it, we're all Latino here and, and there's a, a whole other crisis going on being immigrants of, of this generation, uh, 2018, which is kind of bizarre. Uh, it's really, really great that you've chosen to find a way to shed light on it in, um, in a, a futuristic way. So, Raka takes place in an alternate universe, and the film is inspired by... Oh, so we're talking about Raka. Sorry, because oh. I went there. Yeah, because yeah. I went oh, there. Sorry. No, well, because <coughs> Raka is the one that's futuristic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, So, it was Dominique. inspired by the proposed repeal of DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. And in our alternate universe, in which Emil Carr plays the president of the United States, instead of DACA, we have Raka, Reassessing All Current Citizens Act. So instead of having to reassess people who are here working hard and contributing to our nation, what if we said, you know, the people who always say, oh, I came here on the Mayflower. You've been here so long, what have you been doing? What if we did that to someone else instead? And we wanted to make sure that the film wasn't really, what if this happened to you? It was more about the fact that this would be devastating if it happened to anyone. And you have to see the film to understand how we show that. Right, and we didn't get to show a clip of it, um, which I'm sure we will show a B-roll of it. However, even the trailer doesn't really give us an insight, because I'm like, oh, bendito, the dog, he ended up alone. <laughs> but that's a big part of it. This is something, people think this is a Latino issue or an immigrant issue, and it's not. You know, everyone is going to, to miss people. You know, we'll lose our friends, our parents, our teachers, our doctors. And so that was a big part of showing that scene. So Amika is in Raka and Nice Guy, right? Yes. yes. You're in both of them. So how has it been working with Dominique? Oh, it is a dream come true. Um, it's just, for Raka specifically, we, we as, as I'm sure she'll tell you, we shot in 12 hours. We had around, I think, 24 participants, performers yes. taking part in it. And the and, dog. And a dog. Uh, the dog <laughs> was the best the actor. <laughs> um, and we shot it's a chihuahua, right? It's he a mix. Is, he's a right? mix, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> so we, um, we shot in eight different locations. So for Raka specifically, it was just very hectic, but Dominique is so efficient. She knew exactly what she wanted to get done. She knew exactly how she wanted to get done, so it was just really nice to work with her in that sense. For a nice guy, it was beautiful just because she actually wrote the, um, like the idea of the script and like a, a, an initial draft of it, essentially, during one of our acting classes. So seeing that develop from just you know, scratch, chicken scratch behind a piece of paper <laughs> up until this amazing film has just been so amazing for me. I'm, I'm really proud of her. How is it coming under the direction of a woman? I think it's the same as coming under the direction of a man. I mean, it's, she, she herself, she's very, I mean, it's this. She's like, good <laughs> good 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like if, I feel like if in general women are underrepresented in 
every industry, essentially, and it's great to see that Dominique was able to just get in there and write this film, produce it, both A Nice Guy and Racker, she produced both of them, and just take the helms, um, setting up this interview with you, setting up all of the different press that we've done. She's just such a hard worker, and I find it really interesting that she somehow finds time without the day, throughout the day to get all these things done. How I say it is that women are extremely efficient and extremely productive, so I'm very happy to have a woman director. Are you kidding me? We're like masters of multitasking. Seriously, you have, your yeah. hair is amazing. It's like, yeah. I don't have to do anything with my yeah. hair. This is just how I wake up. Yeah. It's like, you know? So it was great. I have no problem with that. that. I appreciate that. I've done nothing either with my hair, so I'm there with yeah, you. So, Calvin, uh, are you uh, in both films as well? Uh, no, I'm only uh, in The Nice Guy. I'm you, one of the stars of The right, Nice Guy. Yeah. 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 I do not play The Nice Guy. I know you don't. You're the, nice guy. <laughs> You're the one that wishes you were The Nice Guy. Exactly. <laughs> but he's the only one in all three scenes, the whole film, throughout. Yeah. I'm the one that goes through the entire process of learning what, you know, learning, uh, f f going through a learning process as a, as a guy and trying to figure out what, what, how to be more sensible or, or sensitive to certain uh, issues and certain topics. Uh, and, and that film also was part of a competition, right? Was it Nice Guy so that was part of the competition? AT&T was the one that we made, I'm sorry, so Raka we made for AT&T AT Developer mm -hmm. 24 Hour Film Festival. Mm -hmm. yeah. So literally every aspect of Raka was made in 24 hours, writing it, filming it, editing it. It was a whirlwind, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Well, well <laughs> <laughs> and you're the writer as well. Yes. So, where do you pull your inspiration from? I mean, aside from the immigrational issues, just because you, you wrote this futuristic uh, twist to it, which I found very, very fascinating. Thank you so much. So, I find it really important to use your voice for good. And so the most rewarding thing for me is when people come up to me and thank me for telling these stories, right? And giving, you know, diverse representation in our stories. I think, there's a way to be compassionate about telling the story too. Both of our films, they bring up very sensitive issues. And we don't blame anyone, but we want everyone to look at domestic violence. We want everyone to look at immigration issues and rethink them. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. And as an actress, that was my process. So I think that's a big part of why my stories are told that way. That's great. I, I'm all about advocacy and, and just social consciousness. And, and I could see that they're inside of your films. And, and I was just curious, just because you played in The Nice Guy, um, did that shift anything in your way of thinking about relationships? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I mean, not, not a, I remember when we started off, it was actually kind of difficult to play the role because I could not think of myself as this, like, person that could not understand someone else's point of view. And once we got through that, that actually helped me understand that, you know, as a guy, um, when you're out and, you know, whether you're social or doing whatever, um, a lot of times guys get rejected from, from women and we think like it's something that we did, like, oh, I wasn't smooth enough or like, oh, I, you know, I don't have game, whatever. And going through this film helped me realize that that's not re even really the case. It, it has nothing to do with me as the person. It has all to do with her and whatever choices she wants to make. And that's something that just definitely changed my psyche and now I always think about that, you know, it's not just about me, it's, it's, it's about her. It's bravo, bravo. <laughs> yeah. and that, that's, uh, that's the way every guy should approach I mean, any relationship. It's not just Dominique, you're doing, <laughs> <job>. <laughs> you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. And Amika, how was that playing uh, the president of the United States? I was trying to channel a little bit of Obama in my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my characteristics. I couldn't, do, I couldn't do the Trump, not that I would want to, so that was that. Um, <laughs> We don't even say that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's scratch that one from the. Uh, I didn't, I didn't hear the, 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 the. So it was um it was a very interesting experience. I myself am the the son of two immigrants, so it was great to represent such a very powerful story throughout the film and to give that message across. Um, I never really pictured myself ever being a president. Um, I was very active in college, uh, doing a lot of activism for against gentrification, about immigration reform and whatnot, but I never saw myself in that kind of a role. And that's kind of the beauty of acting. You know, When I was in high school, I wanted to be a doctor, and that obviously didn't happen, but I've had the chance to play a doctor in commercials. Right. Uh, I've had the chance to play an insurgent. I've had the chance to play so many different kind of characters. So that's part of the beauty of acting. Playing the president itself was just, I felt very powerful. <laughs> and the only reason why I was able to feel so powerful was because Dominique gave me all of that power, you know. In writing such a wonderful speech for me to deliver, she empowered me to 
just make some kind of impact with my words. So it was great. It's wonderful that you created that opportunity for them to feel as well, you know, because, uh, yeah, I think we're about to a Latino president. Yeah, yeah right? I mean, I'll see, I'll see what we can do. <laughs> yeah. for that. So, um, Dominique, uh, how, how, I understand this film is being featured at the Dominican Film Festival. It's being featured at the New York uh, Latino Film Festival. I believe it's also at a festival, uh, Arts Festival. Art is alive, yes. And so how are you feeling about being <laughs> accepted into all these festivals? It's very exciting. I know the point of making Raqqa was just to get the awareness of the issue out in the first place. And so to see, you know, it ha having, having its premiere this weekend at Dominican Film Festival, you know, really warms my heart that we're able to do that. You know, we have two films in that festival and people will come up to us and some people say, oh, I really want to see this one. And they're talking about a nice guy. And some people say, I really want to see this one. It's Raqqa. And I tell them about both and they get so excited and it's really rewarding for us. Well, I congratulate you all, and we're so honored to have you here. Thank you so much. Before you take off and when you ask us, <laughs> I'm putting it out there. Good luck. Good luck to you guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Once again, you guys, a nice guy and Raka premiere at the Dominican. Uh, they're both premiering at the Dominican Festival. Um, I believe Raka is premiering at J July 28th and 29th, or both of them? Both of both. them. Okay, so both. A Nice Guy and Raka are premiering at the Dominican Film Festival July 28th and the 29th at 5 p.m. And uh, Nice Guy premieres at the HBO Latinos Film Festival August 25th at 6 p.m. And for more details, you can visit irongloveproductions.com. Okay, we have to take a quick break, but uh, when we return, we'll hear about an event that many women participate in uh, annually. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 